All right, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss with the wide receiver start set for Fantasy Football Week 2. Before I go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button so you're made aware when new videos are added, which are added daily, multiple videos added daily, and then the live stream Fantasy Football Friday will be tomorrow, probably around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Now, the receivers that I like this week, and again, I'm not picking the obvious guys. These are the borderline guys I'm going to decide between. Uh, I'm definitely going to be starting uh, Russell Gage against the New Orleans Saints. I think with Julio Jones uh, standing a good chance of missing this game with injury, joining Chris Godwin, who's already out, and a hobbled Mike Evans, I think Russell Gage is going to get a lot of targets over the middle, out of the slot from Tom Brady uh, against the New Orleans offense that can throw the ball itself. There could be a lot of points in this game. I'm going to go with uh, Russell Gage there. I also like Curtis Samuel to keep the momentum going against the Detroit Lions. Again, these are two offenses that surprised last week with how good they were. I think the, the both are going to acquit themselves well in this game where, again, there should be a lot of points. Curtis Samuel, 11 targets, and also was used in a running game last week. I think he's uh, a, a quick favorite already of head coach Ron Rivera, who knows him from Carolina. So dial up Curtis Samuel here in this one. Hunter Renfro, despite the dub last week, I like Renfro to rebound against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, Renfro certainly uh, it'll be, will get back involved in the uh, offense for this week because Josh McDaniels has a habit of turning slot guys into big weapons in his offense. I think Renfro will start uh, earning his hay this week. I also uh, will go back to the well with Christian Kirk against the Indianapolis Colts. I think the game script will dictate that a lot of passes are going to need to be thrown by Jacksonville, who likely will fall behind the Colts early in this game and have to play catch-up, so give me Christian Kirk in this one. And finally, Tyler Boyd against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, with T. Higgins' status very murky, it's, it's very possible that he won't clear concussion protocol. If that's the case, dial up Boyd, who is a top 25 PPR wide receiver when Higgins or uh, Jamar Chase is out of the lineup. Now, as far as the sit candidates, Kadarius Tony sh uh, should be shot down. Should should be sat down. Excuse me, it's a mouthful for me against the Carolina Panthers. Tony is on the outs with this coaching staff who did not draft him, and they barely used him last week. They gave him a couple of carries, no targets in the passing game. Um, Tony is is persona non grata with Brian Dable and company. Uh, earned scorn from the coaching staff right not showing up to the uh, OTAs during the offseason has a lot of uh, injury issues in the past as well so do not start Kadarius Tony and even feel uh, free to drop him outright if you were in the shallow league Robert Woods I will not uh, trust Robert Woods against the Buffalo Bills Buffalo Bills defense uh, is the real deal they shut down the Rams last week Woods did not look okay last week against the New York Giants uh, I'm going to wait to see if he does anything positive before I ever trust him in my, with my lineups. Tyler Lockett against San Francisco 49ers, no go for me. Uh, the 49ers defense is one of the best units in the entire NFL, right there behind the uh, Buffalo Bills, and they likely will lock up Lockett, who did not have a good week one himself. I'm also not going to start um, uh, DJ Moore. Uh, I'm not liking DJ Moore as well this week uh, against the New York Giants. Uh, I think that the, the Giants' pass defense... Uh, was very good last week against the Tennessee Titans. And like the situation um, with Tyler Lockett, I want to see DJ Moore uh, show a rapport with Baker Mayfield before I throw him out there. Now, I like DJ Moore as much as anybody, but again, I've said this before, when a new quarterback comes into town, oftentimes they develop a chemistry with the non-obvious guy, uh, such as Matthew Stafford, when we all thought it was going to be Robert Woods last year, it turned out to be Cooper Cup. Uh, Robbie Anderson had a big game with Baker Mayfield last week. That could be the new top connection. I think DJ Moore is too good to let that happen. But again, uh, I'm not going to trust DJ Moore in this game. It's not that I don't trust him, but I just want to see that he develops some sort of a rapport with Baker Mayfield before I put him out there. All right, again, hit that uh, subscribe, hit that notification uh, button. More videos are coming soon.